over here, but it's so great to see the rebuilding continuing and going forward. And, and turning out better. I mean, it, it's always a positive out of a, a big event like that, and uh, hopefully we'll never see another one in our lifetime. And we'll just uh, we'll keep an eye on each one, but don't have to worry about that now. Yes. That's beautiful outside, unless you don't like the chilly air. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's a little cold out there, and there's a bit of a breeze, but right now live in Hamilton, as you take a look at the Aggie Stadium, Grass is green and everything's starting to uh, really get going on the blooming, but it is going to be cool tonight. 58 right now up in Marion County. Winds out of the northwest. That makes it feel as if it's in the mid 50s. Dew point at 32. Now, as we look at what's happening in uh, Birmingham right now along 280, there's the summit. Gorgeous shot from atop of Grandview Regional Medical Center. 61 degrees now. Winds out of the north northwest at 15. And traffic seems to be flowing fairly smoothly. Now that storm system which brought thunderstorms to Alabama yesterday has actually tracked more towards the north and east throughout the day. We're on the back side of this area of low pressure and that's what happens. We have a wraparound moisture at times and some of this is likely not reaching the ground. Maybe a few drops here and there, but overall this is what is at least producing the cloud cover we've seen out there during the afternoon today. Now that cooler air will continue to actually slide rather quickly into Alabama. Tomorrow morning, chilly start with our temperatures down into the upper 30s. Hamilton, Coleman, back over towards Gadsden. You might see 35, 36 degrees tomorrow, so plan on that. And then tomorrow, as we go through the afternoon, not much of a warm up. All of the warm air will stay out to our west, but then as we have one more night of chilly temperatures, we'll see numbers dropping down again into the upper 30s and low 40s. And then that warmer air out to our west will start to spread in our direction setting the stage for a gorgeous weekend, especially Saturday. Enjoy that if you can. Here's our storm track future cast through the rest of tonight and throughout the uh, day tomorrow. We're in good shape, lots of sun. Temperatures will warm up with that sunshine. This is early in the morning, so as you head out the door, grab a lighter jacket, maybe a sweatshirt for the kids. And then as we look at our Friday afternoon, again, crystal clear, blue skies everywhere. It'll be a great looking forecast. And we'll see very similar conditions right through Friday night into Saturday with that cool down on the way. So our temperatures are going to warm back up. We'll head back into the upper 70s as soon as Sunday. So this cool snap that we'll have for a couple of days, not really going to have a huge impact on us, but we will stay dry. And that is the key there, even though, believe it or not, we still have a few spots where there's some burning. Here's a look at your storm track seven day. Those temperatures warming up. Lows in the upper 30s next couple of nights. Prepare for that. And after that, we'll see another shot at a few showers late Tuesday into Wednesday. And most of that will be scattered with highs in the lower 80s. Mark, you made a special trip today to one Birmingham school. Good thing yes. you guys were inside this week. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, I went to Oxmoor Valley Elementary School to deliver a one class at a time grant check. I love this. Yay! We surprised Carita Smith, Sullen, when she showed up at, or actually we showed up at her classroom. Uh, Ms. Smith Sullen is a math and science teacher. She tells us she plans to use her $1,000 check to purchase a 3D printer. I've been doing research on it, and even though they've been around for a while, um, they're new to the classroom. So I know that they will be very excited to use it. One class at a time is made possible by America's First Financial, Little Caesars, and Pepsi. To apply for a grant, go to WIAT.com and click on the CBS 42 Community tab at the top.